Hey everybody and welcome to Mystic Musings. Sorry that I was absent last week, but I was out of town for Thanksgiving, and sorry I sound kind of scary now, but I have a cold. Anyway, today is Freaky Friday and that means we are going to do a list video. So keeping with the states that I've been kind of exploring lately, uh, these are five witches of Illinois. Number one, Beulah, the Meridian Witch. Beulah was rumored to live along Meridian Road, west of Rockford, Illinois, during the 1960s and 70s. It was said she developed her magical powers when she was just a little girl. She had been disfigured by shards from the lens of her glass speculum. In 1965, she was accused of being responsible for the disappearances of several local teens who had gone looking for her. However, many people believe she was just a sad, widowed hermit who lost her mind after several school children died in a fire at the schoolhouse where she taught. Number 2. Eva Locker Eva Locker lived on Davis's Prairie in the 1830s. She was rumored to be a witch and was notorious for her ability to steal milk from cows by hanging a towel over a rack and magically wringing the milk out from the towel. She also had the ability to kill cows by striking them with balls of hair, which were later found in the cow's stomachs. Charlie Lee, a noted witch master, broke her spells by piercing an effigy of her with silver bullets. Number 3. The Williams Sisters In 1871, a farmer's two daughters were known to go on nightly dances around the edge of their roof, eat flies, speak to each other in a language only they could understand, and generally weird people out. The Chicago Tribune and the New York Times both reported on the bizarre incidents. The sisters claimed they had been bewitched by an old woman who lived nearby in retribution for having refused to become witches themselves. Number 4. St. Omer's Witch's Grave St. Omer's Cemetery boasts this odd crystal ball-like monument. According to legend, Caroline Barnes is one of four people buried under the stone, and she was put to death for witchcraft. There isn't a lot to back this one up, but the legend is definitely well known in the community. Number 5. Mary Worth Mary Worth was a notorious witch who lived on a farm in Lake County in the mid-1800s. Prior to the Civil War, she would capture runaway slaves and torture them in her barn. Locals were outraged by this and burned her to death. Some say her bones are buried in St. Patrick's Cemetery, but many believe they're on her farm. Years later, a house was built over the foundation of the barn and poltergeist activities started instantly. In 1986, the house burnt to the ground. Some researchers believe Mary Worth is the original Bloody Mary.